Today I am making matcha green tea tiramisu. So let's get started. Okay, so step one, we are making the custard and this is a matcha custard. So, so I have a little pot here and I have six egg yolks and I'm just gonna pour these into the pot. And with the egg whites, you can make an egg white omelet. So don't throw them away. Egg whites also freeze really, really well. So you can like divide them into like two egg whites per Ziploc bag and pop them in the freezer and there you go. And then I'm gonna pour some sugar on top. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add some matcha powder. Whoa. So I want this to be super strong. So I'm adding like two tablespoons. This might be a lot, but whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So there we go. Looks like spinach, but we know that it's not. So that's okay. And now we are taking this to the stove. Okay. So I'm gonna set the pot to medium heat. Give it a good whisk, and as I'm whisking, I am going to add the milk. Now, once it's fully incorporated, we're going to wait until, uh, like, while whisking, don't stop whisking. This is like a whisking part of the recipe. Once it comes to a boil, you want to let it boil while whisking for about one minute, and then we're gonna turn off the heat and go back to the studio. Now we're just gonna pour this into a glass bowl or you can use like an aluminum bowl, whatever you like. And we're gonna let it cool down for about 20 minutes and then pop it in the fridge for about an hour for it to fully cool. We are going to make the whipped cream mixture. I have my cream and a cream whips up better when it is cold, so make sure to keep your cream in the fridge until you're ready to use it. And we are going to add some vanilla extract. I'm not going to measure. Now I am just gonna beat it until a stiff peaks form. Now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge and we are going to start with our assembly. Yay! So I have a matcha cake here and this is actually from my matcha cupcakes recipe. So I'll link it here in the cards for you if you wanna check it out and make this. But I am just going to cut off the crusts. And now I didn't add any food coloring or anything so it's like a very natural green tea color. If you want it to be more vibrant, add a couple drops of green food coloring in. That's totally fine. Like raw. So I'm just gonna cut it into long strips. All right, I remade it, it's the next day. Now you know why there wasn't a video on Saturday. Because, <laughs> because I'm sucking so hard, but it's okay. So now we are going to just keep going. I cooked it extra. If anything, it's gonna be dry, but that's okay because like tiramisu, it's okay if it's dry, I swear to God, if it's raw, good, okay, good. It's not. I added um, a bit more matcha and some food coloring to deepen the color too. So look at that like rich color. I don't know why it's slightly lighter on the bottom than the middle. Just... This isn't the first recipe to make me cry. So many have made me cry, but oddly the ones that like you expect or that I expected to make me cry and like be hard, they weren't. It's like the deceptively easy ones that end up just like taking me down. So now I have my little container. I don't have a glass square dish. I'm not delaying this video for another week. So this is what we're using. Do I sound exhausted? Because I am. <laughs> All right, so before we stack it, we just have to do a couple more things. So I have the custard that we made. I'm gonna add some mascarpone cream. And, or cheese and I'm just adding the whole tub like that is how much you need so I don't need to measure it and I am just going to mix this all together look at how much lighter it got and it tastes so good you guys oh my gosh with traditional tiramisu you're going to brush it with like a coffee and a rum mixture but we're not doing the hair because that that would be gross so <laughs> we are going to use matcha so I have my little matcha whisk and my bowl I am going to add some matcha here and then pour in, I am not doing this the right way. It's good enough for this. If you wanna like drink it properly, let me know and I'll do a full video. But we are going to add some water that is almost boiled, at least I know that. Um, with matcha, you want it, there's a certain temperature, I'll Google it and put it on the screen. But um, you don't want the water to get act to like full boiling. And then we are going to whisk and there's like many ways you can do it to get the foam. Also the much I'm using is like the cold brew kind that I use for the cupcake video. And like, like why is it weird? So now it's time to get your bowl and get your cake. So I'm just going to break the cake into pieces and layer it in one even layer in the bottom of the dish. Okay, so now that is nice and arranged there. I'm going to take the matcha and then just soak it 
on with a brush. And now it is mascarpone time. So we have our matcha custard and we are going to dollop half of it on top. Now this is a smaller dish, so I think I will use less than half. Okay, now it's time for the cream. So I'm gonna put like the same amount. Why is this full already? All right, now we're just gonna do it all over again. First goes the cake, Let's just shove it in. And now we are going to drench it in more matcha. And I think you can do this like separately, like when the cake is like on a tray or something too, but the cake is pretty delicate. It's less dense than lady fingers, which are typically used in tiramisu. So um, it might just be easier this way. It feels like an unhealthy relationship where like you're trying to make it work, but like deep down, you know it's not gonna work out in the end. Like, how am I supposed to fit these two layers on? The two next layers, I don't know. But you're gonna try anyway because you're stupid. The stupid was for me, not for you guys if you've done it too. I was talking to myself. <laughs> Custer goes on top and like, I think it would fit if it weren't for the stupid little handles on the side. I mean, you guys saw the B-roll that I have not seen yet. So like, you know if this works or not. You know if it's like a totally different bowl at the end of this video. I don't know that. I feel like the handle equ relationship equivalent is like, oh, it's fine. He, like he invites his parents on every single date we go on, but it's fine. Like, it's fine. That's a true story, unfortunately for me. But we are creative here. We are resilient, and I know how I'm gonna make this work. It's like a life lesson, maybe. I don't. know, I'm still single. I might <laughs> stop. Okay, so piping big, big round piping tip. And. We are going to put the cream in. And now I'm not gonna make them too big because this cream is soft. It's not like buttercream, so it's not gonna like be as sturdy, but I'm just gonna go from the outside so that it has like a nice clean ring around the edges and the edges look pretty. Kinda looks like sweet potato casserole, but it's fine. So this is going in the fridge for about four hours because we want everything to soak together and be all yummy. So I'll see you guys in four hours. Okay, the handles are handy now. But that's not trivet relationships. If you have doubts, listen to them. <laughs> so now the final touch, this is the most important part. I'm just going to dust it on top. This is how you get that really pretty even coating. Okay, are you ready to eat it? I'm so excited. So, let's go. Okay, like how? <laughs> how do I do it? It is so matcha, it is so creamy. If you want the recipes for the cake that I used in this, I'll link it here. Anyways, I love you all so much for watching. I'll see you next Saturday, I promise, for a new video. <laughs> Bye.